Hi everyone, Sat here with another tutorial for AR Core and AR Kit using AR Foundation. So in this tutorial we're going to look at how to automatically place an object onto the floor without tapping or anything. So just the, the, as soon as the camera is pointed at a potential ground, it will um, place the object. And this is really useful if you're making a game um, and you just want to show the person where the item would be, uh, where it could look, well, what it could look like it was on the ground. Uh, so this was requested um, on the on the comment section. It's been a while since I got back to people, so I decided I'd, I'd start doing that now. And um, yeah, before I get started again, thank you for the comments. I've only just did this one like a day after the other one, so I didn't expect to at least get something. But thank you, thanks again for the comments. I appreciate appreciate that. I really do mean it. I I do do this because of the comments and. and, and and the likes and, and the subscriber counts was going up, so I thank you for that. And um, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna go to project and I'm gonna go to scenes and I'm gonna take the sample scene back in. I'm gonna remove the feathered plane scene and I'm gonna go to si sample scene. And by the way, uh, just to clarify, I have um, downloaded the AR Foundation Sample Master Project. I've opened that up. Um, and I'm going to just go to the sample scene. Well, actually, I'm going to remove both of them for now. Um, I'm going to go to sample scene and I'm going to go to file and save scene as. And then I'm going to go to scenes and I'm going to rename this to, um, I guess, just main scene, really, since it's going to be our main scene. And it's got it's going to have everything that the sample scene has had inside of it. So I'm going to go to build settings again, and I'm going to drag main scene in here. We won't need these two, so I'm going to remove those, and then we've got our regular main scene. I'm going to work off with this, and that means if I update uh, any of the AR foundation code, it won't it won't affect anything because I won't be using any of it. Uh, we're going to remove all of that from here. Uh, not only of this stuff because it's fine, but we're going to remove stuff like the place on plane uh, script and we're going to make our own one. So if you remember before, this placed it on when we tapped um, tapped on the screen. But what I want to do is um, I want to have it. This was the code. So you tap on the screen and it places it. I want to do that. I want to, we want to do it so that it automatically places it on there. So at the moment, the ray cast is created when you touch the position. We want a ray cast to be emitting from the camera at all times. Um, and then we want to use that to check whether it hits the plane or not. So um, let's remove this script because we won't need it. And let's have let's change this to have a new script called auto place item, right? Because we're going to automatically place an item. Pretty clever that name there, right? Uh, <laughs> all right, so let's double click that, open that up, and we should have a blank script here, like so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this code because it's pretty good. Um, and let's place that here and let's also take some of this stuff um, let's take some of this stuff we'll edit this up quite a bit nope actually let's take even more than that let's take like let's take it all let's just take it all and then um, let's just delete it when we delete what we don't need all right, so we've got this script here. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna get rid of tool tips, serialized field stuff, it's all useful stuff. I'm gonna have here, I'm gonna do public and I'm gonna call this game object. I'm gonna name this to game object to place. Right, so this will be a game object that we place, and we'll actually place, we'll actually set this through different scripts later on. Then we'll keep this, uh, that's fine. Uh, 
uh, M sessions up the K, it's fine. In the update, what we want to do is we're not going to have any of this touch stuff now, right? That's what we're removing. Um, we're not having that. So instead, I think I've got one list. There we go. Instead, um, we, we don't have any of this stuff either because. Um, well, this is okay actually. We're gonna have the game object is always instantiated, right? That's this not. It's not gonna be the game object isn't gonna work the same way as before, um, and I'll explain why later on. Um, but we're not gonna have that, so we're just gonna do. Um, so we don't even need to check this actually. Actually, that's fine. Um, Okay, so this is what we need to change here. Instead of it, the, the ray cast being from the touch position, we want it to be from the camera, the main camera. Now, our camera is marked as main camera, and because of that, it means we can make a call to the main camera by going uh, camera dot, not that, camera, not type, camera dot main, Dot, and now we want to do is the viewpoint to ray since we're going to create a new ray here from the, the camera viewpoint and we want that to be in the middle of the screen so to do that we'll just do f 0.5 now that should get the main camera create um, the, get the middle of the, the main camera actually this should be zero because the z axis is going to be zero since it's, it's not going to be in 0 0.5 pixels in half of the screen size in front of it there's, there's no forward it's just a flat 2d screen right um, so we have x so imagine this is the screen here this is kind of the camera view right uh, this is the camera view. Uh, let me change this to skybox. This is the camera view. We want it to be 0 0.5 in the X and 0 0.5 in the mid in the Y, which is in the middle. So z and zero in the Z axis, not moving forwards or backwards. It's going to be flat against the screen. That's going to be the middle of the screen. That's going to be the position that we're using. And then everything else is the same, really. Um, the difference here is now we want to do the game object to place dot position dot transform sorry dot position is equal to hit pose dot position is it? I think it might be that. It's a hit point of position. Um, I think so. Yeah, I think that's it. Hit point of position. So now that should get the the game object that we're going to place, and we're going to we can change this game object. So at the moment, if we go back to the script, um, we'll see if the game object is empty. Now, what I want to do is I don't want to instantiate this game object at the start of the game. I'm actually going to have this game object there at all times. Um, which I know is a bit strange for now. I know that you might be thinking, hey, why are you doing that? But um, I'll explain later. The main reason is because as these game objects get more complicated, it just takes more time. It takes us like a split second to instantiate game objects. And what I'd rather do is just have them loaded up in at the beginning of the game. And then once they're loaded in the beginning of the game, we can kind of shift them around and move them around. I'm going to set active to false as well. Um, now that is kind of counterproductive because that means that it's going to take time to load but we'll sort that out later in the future for now I'm going to put that in there like that so uh, and so the other thing I want to do is once it finds the pose and changes the pose to set there I'm going to do game object um, dot set active true 
there. Um, we could do a little if statement as well to make sure we don't um, dot active. So if not active, then set to true. So this will only happen. This code will only happen if it's not active. It sets to true, and now it's always active. Um, so now we just want to make sure there's no errors here. And then we want to build it to our phone. And this is just a way to automatically place items onto this screen. Right, so let's try and build it and see what happens. Okay, so as you can see, we um, as we're finding the floor, we can shift it around. And I'm not tapping the screen, I'm just moving the screen. And it's, it's found the middle of the screen and it's automatically trying to place it on the floor, um, which is which is great. And if I, in this place, in this case, it has it's losing the floor a little bit, but that's fine. If I try to take it off of the floor like that, it stays in the last place. Now that wasn't intentional, but that's pretty cool. Anyway, that worked, that works out quite well. All you'll notice though, is it's super jittery, um, and that is not a good thing. So we wanna look at fixing that in the next tutorial.